Australia's adoption of the VBAT, a Group 3 vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial system developed by US-based Shield AI, marks a significant step in enhancing its defense and civilian capabilities through advanced autonomous technology. Introduced through a strategic partnership with Toll Aviation, an Australian aviation and logistics company, the VBAT is poised to address the nation's unique geographical and strategic challenges. With its compact design, AI-driven autonomy, and modular payload capabilities, the VBAT offers a versatile platform for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, disaster response, and border security. On April 7, 2025, Shield AI unveiled a major upgrade to the VBAT in Washington, delivering Group 4 and 5 UAV capabilities in a Group 3 form factor, further enhancing its relevance for Australia's needs. The VBAT is a tail-sitting, fixed-wing drone powered by a single-engine ducted fan, enabling seamless VTOL and horizontal flight transitions. Its patented design allows runway independent operations, requiring only a 12 by 12 inch landing zone, making it ideal for austere environments. The latest iteration announced in 2025 features a heavy fuel engine optimized for JP-5 naval fuel, extending endurance to over 13 hours and ensuring compatibility with expeditionary and maritime missions. With a payload capacity of up to 11.3 kilograms, tested to 18.1 kilograms with reduced endurance, and an operational ceiling of 18,000 feet, tested to 20,000 feet, the VBAT supports a range of payloads, including Australia's VDAR AI sensor for wide area surveillance, synthetic aperture radar, and electronic warfare systems. Integrated with Shield AI's HiveMind pilot autonomy software, it operates in GPS and communications-denied environments, with SATCOM enabling beyond line-of-sight control. These features position the VBAT as a resilient modular platform for Australia's diverse operational needs, from defence to civilian applications. The context for Australia's VBAT program is rooted in the 2023 Defence Strategic Review which prioritizes rapid technological adaptation, autonomous systems, and enhanced ISR to support a strategy of denial in the Indo-Pacific. Australia's vast maritime borders and remote land areas demand flexible, persistent surveillance solutions. The VBAT's compact logistics footprint and AI-driven autonomy align with these requirements, offering a cost-effective alternative to larger ISR aircraft. Unlike the MQ-28A Ghostbat, an Australian-led collaborative combat aircraft program with Boeing, the VBAT focuses on tactical multi-mission roles, complementing Australia's broader defense modernization efforts. Globally, the VBAT's operational success in challenging environments, such as Ukraine's electronic warfare heavy theaters, underscores its reliability. Its adoption by the U.S. Navy, U.S. Coast Guard, and Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force as a shipborne ISR platform further validates its suitability for Australia's maritime-focused defense strategy. The VBAT's role and purpose in Australia span defense, law enforcement, and civilian sectors. For the Australian Defense Force, it enhances ISR, targeting, and joint operations, particularly for maritime programs like Land 8E710, which emphasizes Army-led amphibious capabilities. Its VTOL capability and ability to land on moving platforms make it ideal for naval and expeditionary forces, supporting missions in contested environments. In civilian applications, the VBAT addresses critical needs such as search and rescue, biosecurity protection, climate surveillance, and disaster management, including autonomous fire detection and flood response. For law enforcement and border security, it provides persistent surveillance along Australia's extensive coastline, detecting illegal activities or environmental threats. By integrating Australian-designed payloads like Sentient Vision's VIDAR, the program fosters sovereign capability development, enhancing local industry and export potential. The VBAT's affordability and scalability enable Australia to maximize operational reach while minimizing personnel and logistical demands. Project progress has been marked by significant milestones since the 2023 teaming agreement between Toll Aviation and Shield AI announced at the Avalon Airshow. 
Toll Aviation, based in Brisbane, has established itself as the prime contractor for VBAT operations, training, and maintenance, leveraging its extensive flight approvals and facilities. In 2024, successful flight demonstrations in New South Wales and Queensland showcased the VBAT's performance in Australian conditions, attracting interest from defence and civilian stakeholders. Training programs at the ACE Training Centre in Sydney have certified operators and maintainers from the ADF, state police and government agencies, offering Group 3 UAS qualifications and CASA certified type endorsements. Collaboration with Australian companies like Sentient Vision and AVT Australia has advanced payload integration, with VIDAR enhancing maritime surveillance and CM234 UAS payloads supporting sovereign technology development. The VBAT's global achievements, including drone swarming capabilities achieved in October 2023, bolster confidence in its Australian deployment. Implementation plans focus on operational integration, sovereign capability, and sector expansion. Toll Aviation's Brisbane-based Uncrewed Systems Office and Sydney Training Centre support domestic operations, enabling rapid deployment in remote areas with a three-person team. Ongoing efforts to integrate Australian payloads aim to meet ADF requirements and enhance export potential, with VIDAR and other technologies positioning Australia as a regional UAS leader. Training programs are set to scale, certifying more personnel for advanced operations, while flight approvals ensure compliance with CASA regulations. For defense, the VBAT is under evaluation for ADF programs, with potential trials aligning with DSR priorities. In the civilian sector, partnerships with technology leaders aim to expand applications in biosecurity, environmental protection, and disaster response, with planned demonstrations to validate these capabilities. The VBAT's runway independent design and AI autonomy enable flexible deployment from improvised bases, ships, or urban environments, ensuring adaptability across Australia's diverse landscapes. The impact of the VBAT program on Australia is multifaceted, spanning defence, economic and societal dimensions. For the ADF, it enhances ISR and targeting, reducing reliance on crude assets and supporting joint operations in contested environments. Economically, the program drives growth by creating jobs in training, maintenance and payload development, with Toll Aviation's facilities in Brisbane and Sydney serving as hubs for innovation. The integration of Australian technologies strengthens the defence industry, fostering export opportunities and reducing dependence on foreign systems. In civilian applications, the VBAT improves resilience to natural disasters and climate challenges, particularly in remote regions, by enabling rapid response and persistent monitoring. Strategically, the program positions Australia as a leader in autonomous UAS technology, enhancing partnerships with allies like the US and potentially India, where Shield AI has a manufacturing deal. Stakeholders, including Toll Aviation, Shield AI, Sentient Vision, AVT Australia, the ADF and CASA, benefit from a collaborative ecosystem that balances operational needs with sovereign development.